Asus's Tough 17.3 inch laptop. This laptop has the AMD Ryzen 5 3350H clocked up to 3.7 GHz ARX 560, 512 GB SSD, and 8 GB of DDR4 RAM. The Ryzen 5 3350H is a pretty good CPU. It's pretty much just as good as the Ryzen 1200 according to CPU user benchmark, as you can see here. And the RX 560 is a decent mid range graphics card that will be able to run most games at 1080p per second. For a small handful of games, you might need to downscale to 900p, but that isn't the biggest deal in the world, at least in my opinion. The display is an IPS 60Hz 17.3 inch screen, which is pretty big for a laptop. IPS means that the screen will have great viewing angles and colors, so your gameplay will look really great. As expected, it's 60Hz, so if you're sitting at 60 frames per second or above on a game, you are at optimal performance, and the 560 can deliver exactly that. Some on this laptop are the keyboard and its anti-dust technology. The keyboard is RGB and has scissor switch keys, so you'll get good keyboard feedback, and the anti-dust technology, according to ASUS, uses something called self-cleaning ADC system that automatically exterminates dust, so yeah, that is some pretty cool high-tech stuff. For ports, it has one USB 2.0, two USB 3.0s, Ethernet, and HDMI. Overall, a great gaming laptop. Next up, in number four, G3 2019 15.6 inch laptop. Now this laptop has an i5-8300H quad core processor with a clock speed of up to four gigahertz, eight gigabytes of DDR4 memory, a one terabyte hard drive, and a GTX 1050 Ti. That i5-8300H is a very good CPU, especially with that boost clock of 4 GHz. It's a great, reliable processor that'll easily be able to take care of just about anything from basic web browsing all the way up to 1080p. It will also have absolutely zero problems working with the 1050 Ti. Now, the 1050 Ti graphics card is a bit better than the RX 560, as you can see here, according to gpu.userbenchmark.com. Now, as great of a difference that is, there are only 60 Hz displays. So even if the 1050 Ti has an edge in performance by delivering 70 FPS, instead of 60 FPS, for example, versus another graphics card, the difference won't be noticeable. The main thing you'll be getting from this card over the RX 5 previous laptop is consistency. You'll most likely see less FPS dips into the 50s because when your card drops 10 frames, it'll still be sitting in the 60 FPS range. The eight gigabytes of DDR4 RAM in this laptop is expected. It's a good standard amount of RAM for this price range and will be fine for gaming. Now, although this laptop may have a bit of a better graphics card compared to the last laptop we discussed, it only has a one terabyte hard drive for storage. Now, hard drives are significantly slower than SSDs, 12 gigabyte SSD over a one terabyte hard drive any day. However, this won't affect your frames per second, so unless you need the whole one terabyte of storage versus the 512 gigabytes, then this storage device is perfectly fine. And now to the appearance of this laptop. It's very low profile looking, so if you're not looking for a laptop that literally screams gaming laptop at you, then you'll probably want to pick this one up. Finally for ports, this one has one USB 3.1, two super speed USB 3.1s, HDMI port, and an ethernet port. So yeah, that's the Dell G3 2019, a very solid gaming laptop. Now onto the next one, which is the Acer Nitro 5, 15.6 inch gaming laptop. Pretty nice looking laptop. This one has the quad core eight thread Ryzen 5 2500U with the boost clock of 3.6 gigahertz, eight gigabytes of DDR4 RAM and the RX 560. Now this laptop is very similar to the first one we discussed. Some key differences would be to the size and obviously the price. Anyway, this laptop will be able to run most games at 1080p 60 frames per second at low to medium settings. Like the other laptops, it has 8GB of RAM, which is just fine. Also, this one has a 1TB hard drive, which again is okay, but is significantly slower than an SSD, however, it won't affect your game performance. Now, this laptop does have a version with the 512GB SSD instead of a 1TB hard drive. This laptop is a bit on- If you plan on using a computer as an actual laptop on the go, you might want to wait and hear about the rest of the laptops that we'll be discussing in this video. Regardless, this is a powerhouse of a computer and is a great gaming machine. 
Up next, we have the MSI GF63 9RCX818 15.6 inch laptop. Now, interestingly, this laptop has two different options with their own pros and cons. One has an i7 9750H with 256 gigabytes of SSD storage and five 9300H with 512 gigabytes of SSD storage. Now, if we're being real here, using the i7 over the i5 version will really not give you some crazy FPS boost. At most, you'll see an extra 3 to 5 frames per second on average, which won't really do much since most of the games will consistently run at 1080p at 60 frames per second or above regardless of the processor that you use in this laptop. And since this computer uses a 60Hz display, the difference won't really be noticeable. But like I said, this laptop uses a 1050 Ti, which is the base level graphics card for 1080p 60 frames per second gaming at low to medium settings. Based on your decision, you get either 512GB or 256GB of storage. If it were me, I would go for the 512GB version as the i7 doesn't really give you a crazy edge or extreme performance boost for gaming. 256 gigabytes of storage honestly isn't enough for 2020 games. For example, Modern Warfare is 100 gigabytes. So yeah, I would recommend the 512 gigabyte i5 version in this instance. Aside from all of that, this MSI laptop is very ergonomic with a sharp and slim design making it light at only 4.1 pounds. It also has a brushed aluminum chassis, meaning it'll have some pretty solid structural integrity and of course a nice thin bezel around the display. This laptop is extremely fast no matter what version you choose and I would honestly pick up one of these for myself if I could afford one. Finally, we have the gaming 15 inch laptop. This laptop is definitely the outlier of this list. The screen is a 144 Hertz IPS 1080p display, which is already a huge pro, has an i5 8300H paired with the GTX 1050 Ti, has eight GB of RAM, and for storage has a one terabyte hard drive and a 128 gigabyte SSD. So this laptop has a ton of storage. So if you have a big game library or plan on having one, this absolutely is the lab. On the SSD, obviously you'll wanna put the games you want fast loading times for, and then the bigger games like the massive almost 200 gigabyte Modern Warfare would be on the one terabyte hard drive. Now beyond all of that, this laptop has a fast i5-8300 with a boost clock of 4 gigahertz, and it has the 1050 Ti for its graphics card, which like I have said a gazillion times can run most modern games at 1080p 60 frames per second. Now the best part about this laptop is that display. Above its performance and design, it has a 144Hz IPS 1080p display. Now, what 144Hz means is that you'll be able to see those smooth frames if your frame rate reaches above 60 frames per second. So gameplay, in short, will look super smooth. Ever since I switched to a 144Hz display, 60Hz straight up looks choppy to me. And for ports, this laptop has two USB 3.1s, one USB-C, Ethernet, an SD card reader, and HDMI. So honestly, in my opinion, Pavilion Gaming 15-inch laptop is the best laptop on this list. You get top-of-the-line performance with the i5 and 1050 Ti, a 144Hz display, both an SSD and a hard drive, so over one terabyte of storage altogether, an awesome sleek design, and a USB-C port. This laptop can be anything you really want it to be. A computer for work, used for 3D modeling, video editing, web browsing, and of course, 1080p gaming. A great laptop overall. Laptops will be in the description. So yeah, that will do it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. Have any comments or questions, drop a comment, and I will be sure to get to you as soon as I possibly can. And if you enjoy the content you're seeing, drop a sub. Thanks for watching.